Hey guys, welcome back to 90 Feet From Home. I'm your host, Ashley, and today we are going to talk about the dreaded bunt. You'll need to forgive me if you hear any weird crunching noises in this video, because my cat has decided now is the most appropriate time in history to eat food directly behind me. So a bunt is a specific type of hit where rather than swinging, the batter will square the bat up in front of them and attempt to use it to direct the ball either down the third base or first base line, typically. Head to the second half, guys, so check it out tomorrow, Reds Live pregame. Look at this bunt. Now, normally this will be done to beat the shift, which is something we'll talk about in another episode, but a shift is basically when the outfielders move either to the left or to the right, because that's typically where a batter will hit the ball. A smart batter may be able to bunt to beat that shift, sending it down the third baseline, for example, if everybody has moved over to the right field. The idea of the bunt is to get the ball located pretty much specifically wherever the fielders aren't. What this will do is give that base runner either a better shot of getting to first base, or more usually, it will help them advance one of the runners already on base into a scoring position, which means they're going to be on second or third base. Now, if they bunt specifically to help score a runner, that is considered a sacrifice bunt, because that batter then knows they're going to be thrown out at first base. This type of bunt does not count for an at-bat. Typically, a sacrifice bunt will be used in an instance where the teams have scores that are quite close, and one of them is using it to get ahead, basically using every means necessary in order to get those hits and runs needed. And it's also important to know that usually in the case of a sacrifice, bunt, that batter is going to go into a bunt position even before the pitcher has thrown the ball. Now, a squeeze play is a specific type of sacrifice bunt. In a squeeze play, there will be a runner on third base, and the batter will hit that bunt with the expectation of being thrown out at first. But depending on how well that bunt was placed, this, this gives that runner on third base the opportunity to score. And the 1-1 squeeze is on. Schaefer gets it down, and the ball game is over! Logan Schaefer on the suicide squeeze gives the Brewers the win. So there are actually two types of squeeze plays. In a safety squeeze, the runner on third base won't start running for home until they see that that bunt has been successfully laid down. And they know that they have a very good opportunity of being able to make it from third to home and scoring that run. In a suicide squeeze, on the other hand, that runner on third base it will start running before they even see how well that bunt has been laid down, probably trusting that the batter who's at the plate at that moment is perhaps a particularly good bunter and has a history of hitting bunts in the direction that they would want them to go. And using that trust, they take off running before the bunt has even been laid down. This gives them a much higher risk of being tagged out at home if there is a failure in that bunt, but that's kind of where the suicide aspect of it comes in because they may get killed at home plate as a result of their too early run. Because of this higher risk, because of the higher degree of difficulty and more risk, usually runners on third will not advance ahead of time unless they do know that that batter at the plate is particularly good at laying down bunts. Now, bunts are pretty unpopular and they have a bit of a bad rap. They're not flashy, they're not cool, they look kind of goofy, but they can still be a very useful play and that's why we're still seeing them get used quite regularly. Now you'll get people who are extra angry if somebody uses a bunt to break up a no-hitter or a perfect game just because it feels a little bit like cheating. So you might see responses to something like that that are really irate, um, but it is still a fair move and teams still have to try to win even when their opposition is doing a no-hitter or a perfect game. So sometimes you might see a bunt get laid down there because it's the last thing anyone expects. And that, guys, is bunting in a nutshell. So I hope this explained that sort of phenomenon for you. I hope you enjoyed this. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. Leave a comment down below. Remember, you can hit that subscribe button. And while you're there, you might as well ring the bell to get notified every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday when a new episode goes live. And remember, you can follow me on social media where I'm at 90 feet from home on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. All right, guys, until next time. Bye.